I'm getting ready to cook the venison loin up. Now, one thing I like to always carry my kit is this. I fill it with any kind of like all-purpose like seasoning. I just got some kind of seasoning salt in here. I don't even remember what it is. But I bring that with me no matter what in the woods. And I bring a, a biological bottle, tight lid with vegetable oil. I mean, I can get by without it, but it's helpful to have it. So I got my stove going, got some oil, got my little mini fry pan. Now what I need to do is cut a couple medallions of loin. Now people, when you hear age and meat, age and meat tenderizes it. And basically, it's a slow type of decomposition that happens when you're aging meat. Fresh meat can be a little tough. So I'm gonna tenderize this piece out. And now I need to find an early man tool. No, well, that's not quite right. I like that one right there. Scrub her up a little bit. That's actually cleaner than a lot of people's kitchens who I hang out with. I want to give these a couple whaps. There's also no reason you can't just eat it too. Just eat it like rare beef. My brother Matt eats tons of it like that. Like mountain men in the Rockies, when they'd hole up for the winter, they'd live a whole winter sometimes. Nothing but red meat. They're lucky to have some salt to put on it. If you eat nothing but red meat, you gotta make sure to mix in a lot of organ meat. Heart, liver, even gall. Anything you can get because if you're just eating lean red meat, you can get nutrient deficiencies. And trappers used to learn that from Indians all the time because the Indians would just eat all kinds of bodily fluids out of the carcass and stuff. And they would, they would keep them healthy. Oh man, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be good. This actually is, is the favorite food of mine.